Mesh Mixer is a powerful program, however, it can be intimidating when you first get into it. Just to do a simple cut of your cosplay 3D model, you have to go to edit, plain cut, change your angle, keep both, separate shells and export. Well, what if I told you there is a simpler way and it's free on Windows 10? Sorry, Mac users. Well, it's time to embrace your nerd. Hi, Tracy here from Astral Sight Cosplay. In this video, I showed you how to cut up your 3D models for smaller 3D printers using Mesh Mixer. Because like you, when I first got into cosplay and 3D printing, I was watching YouTube to find out how to do it, and most people were showing you how to do it in Mesh Mixer. So this is what I did. Now, I've since been having a play around with 3D Builder, and I think it's much simpler to cut up your cosplay models. So let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to do it. On a Windows machine, 3D Builder is already installed. So the beauty of this is that you just find the 3D object that you want to work with and we double click it and it opens up directly in 3D Builder. So I'm gonna show you how to do this on this Wonder Woman sword that I'm currently 3D printing. We just go import model. I'm just gonna quickly ungroup this model. Um, just for simplicity, I'm going to get rid of the sections that we are not gonna to need today to not overcomplicate it. So on this handle, um, you can see here, there's a lot of detail in this bit of the model and there wouldn't be a great way to orient it and to get some good adhesion to the bed. So we're going to slice it probably around here and then we can print the bottom half and the top half as two separate pieces. So we just go to edit, clicking on the model, edit, and we go split. And then we're just going to use this rotate tool, rotate that 90 degrees, hit accept. And then you can literally just drag this to where you need it to be cut. So probably about there would be a nice clean cut. And going up the top here, we want to keep both because we want to be able to print both separately. And we go split. So you'll see over here now, you have the two separate objects that you can, can export as STLs. So just clicking on which side you want to export, going into here, save as, going to STL and save it where you want to save it. And then you just do that with the second section as well. Now we can just import that into your favorite 3D slicing program orientate it up on its end because that's the way that we wanted to print it. Set out all your settings and hit slice and you'd be ready to go. Now that is as simple as it is to cut up something in 3D Builder. Can I please ask a massive, massive favor of you all? If you're a regular viewer of my content and you haven't subscribed, can you please hit that subscribe button? I'm desperately trying to get to 500 subscribers and I am this close. Once we get to 500 subscribers, I get access to the community tab and I can start sharing some behind the scenes footage and photos of cosplay builds and that that I'm working on. You know that cosplay builds can take a significant amount of time to do, so it'd be lovely to be able to touch base with you all more regularly. I would be forever grateful. Now learning to cut up your 3D models is useless if they don't fit your body. So make sure you check out this video to learn how to scale your 3D printed cosplays to get that perfect fit. 